it's really a pleasure to be here with uh, as many people in the audience to be able to present AccuSort. For those of you who don't know AccuSort, we are all about supplement preparation. AccuSort has a really unique technology that enables automation and integration of all kinds of sample preparation you need for diagnostic and cell therapeutics. The company is a little bit more than 10 years old. We've been an active company since 2017, where we were listed at the Spotlight stock market. Today we are about 20 people working in the company. The technology is invented here in Lund by Professor Thomas Lorel. It's called Acoustofluidics, and it is a combination of microfluidics and ultrasound that can be used to manipulate or move particles in liquids. We see that there is a huge need for improvement in sample preparation. The healthcare system today is having big challenges in how to address some of the most severe disease groups. Uh, the cardiovascular diseases, the infectious diseases and cancers. To be able to help patients going through these diseases, you need to have early diagnostics and you need to have accurate diagnostics. And you also need to be able to give patients that are getting these diseases uh, the right therapeutics. Uh, and AccuSort is able to provide that uh, solution with our solutions for integrated and automated sample preparation. Uh, the markets we are directed towards is thus the diagnostic testing market, mainly for point of care diagnostic, where we see that out of the blood samples collected, 75% would need to have a blood plasma separation, which is something that we can provide for our partnering companies. In the cell therapy space, each cell therapy treatment is really, really expensive, which limits the amount of patients that actually get access to this advanced treatment. By making the sample preparation here more simplistic, we can spread out the cell therapeutics and enable more patients to gain benefits from the treatments. Today, most of the work that is done when it comes to diagnostic testing and when it comes to cell therapy preparations are done in the lab. Today's picks and shovels, there are the pipettes, the centrifuges and the microscopes, and the people operating these uh, instruments. To be able to take this to the next step, we need new picks and shovels, and that is what AccuSort can provide. So instead of having tedious labor work in the lab, we can help companies with integrating the sample preparation. And that is something that is needed to be able to discover new biomarkers but it's also something that is needed to be able to expand new therapeutics. So sample preparation and handling, that is what we do. And we can facilitate the development of the next generation diagnostics and the next generation of therapeutics by enable this integration. So as an example, if you look at the CAR T cell therapies, which is an area where we have been working a lot the last years, preparing a CAR T cell therapy is a complicated process. If you look at the image up on the screen, in between each of these steps, there is sample preparation. And in many cases today, that is done manual and with a centrifuge. This means that the process is tedious to perform, and it's expensive, and it has a high risk of contaminating this precious therapeutic sample on the way from the patient during the training and back to the patient. Of course, we are not the only ones that have seen that this is a challenge. Almost all the big players in the life science field working with development of therapeutic solutions have addressed this, and they are looking at ways to enclose and to make this a streamlined and safe process, and of course, to decrease the cost of making the process. In the diagnostic field, what is the main challenge there is the time for making a diagnosis. So from the time the patient is coming into the doctor's office, giving the blood, until they get the feedback, the results from the testing. The reason for that is that the majority of the samples need some kind of sample handling or some kind of sample processing to be able to be analyzed correctly. Today that occurs on advanced labs, hospital labs, which means that by the time you get your results and can start your treatment or go on to further investigations, it can take up to two weeks. If you could use AccuSort's technology and build a diagnostic device around that, 
you could have all these sample preparation integrated. So when you go to your doctor, you give your blood work, you could actually get your results back while you are still there. So decreasing these two weeks down to 30 minutes. Being able to get your treatment started directly or being able to get on with your further investigations without a waiting time. So what is Accusort's technology really about? It is about sample preparation. I've said that maybe a hundred times now. Um, it's a combination of microfluidics and ultrasound, and that enables us to move particles in a liquid flow. The technology is really, really versatile. As in the example here, we are making blood plasma by pushing all the cells of the sample into the center of the channel so we can pull out the cells in the center and the pure plasma at the side. We can also use the technology to isolate different types of cells or to wash cells as we do in the cell therapy space. Or we can use it to select out and collect nanoparticles that contains important biomarker information that can be used to create novel diagnostics. So the business strategy the Accusort has is to use our acoustofluidic technology and build OEM modules around it. And OEM modules are small units that can be incorporated into our partners' devices. So we provide them with an opportunity to integrate sample preparation. So today, Accusort have a few different types of OEM devices that are ready to integrate. When they are integrated into a partnering device, they are used as consumables or semi-consumables, meaning that they will start generating a recurring revenue when the system is on the market. Apart from that, we provide our partners with feasibility studies where we optimize our technology for their needs. We also have the OEM core technology built into two benchtop research systems that we provide to academic researchers and to companies R&D. The OEM portfolio we have today is uh, three different types of product. We have the Acuplasma Optical, which is a small OEM component that is directed towards diagnostic devices, where you open up a small window of blood plasma in a blood sample. We have the AccuWash OEM modules that are done for blood plasma separations, cell separations, and cell therapy cell wash applications. And we have the AccuTrap OEM modules that are uh, designed for automating sample processing for, for example, flow cytometry, where you need some smaller amounts of cells, or for processing and automating extracellular vesicle work. Um, the benchtop research systems, the AccuWash and the AccuTrap, are built around the OEM modules. So we use them, as I said before, a lot in collaborations with uh, uh, partnering R&D departments where they use the instrument to either do assay development or to use them to look at integration workflows. We also sell them to different uh, universities where we expand a portfolio of applications you can use with the systems. Uh, some highlights from the strategic collaborations, which is something that we work a lot with from this year, is that we have an American partner that just recently got a FDA 510K approval for a device with our acoustofluidic technology inside. This is a huge milestone. This is the first time, as we know, that we have an acoustofluidic technology in and cleared the device for diagnostics. Uh, we also have several feasibility discussions ongoing, mainly in the space of cell therapy, but we also have a lot of discussions around automated sample preparation for flow cytometry and for sort of, uh, what you call it, uh, lab automation, especially around the acoustic trapping module. Uh, but the biggest project we have been working on internally this year has been around cell therapy where we had the big feasibility project looking at how cell therapy sample processing can be built in and integrated. And now in October, we had the delivery of a fully functional prototype device that the company will use in their product development to see how you can integrate our technology together with their system. And just to give you an idea about the potential of uh, each possible OEM deal that AccuSort can create around the two different technology areas. We see that with the recurring revenue from sales of the OEM modules, 
even one deal can bring in a significant amount of revenue to Accusort. So for the diagnostic field, it's about 5 to 10 million USD per deal. And for the cell therapeutic space, it would be around 10 to 60 million USD per deal. So to wrap up, I think that Accusort is headed on a really, really exciting journey. We have a validated technology that is now in a commercial expansion phase. And we see that we are addressing fast-growing markets. And with the model where we can have a recurring revenue, we see that the business model we have is really a scalable one. And with that, I would like to thank you for your attention and I'd be happy to take questions. Thank you, Agnes. You have quite a few questions here, but oh. before, yes, it's very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it's always nice to walk up to the stage and see lots of questions. But we are, of course, also happy to take questions from the audience. We have Kim right there with the microphone, if anyone wants to put their hand up and, and ask a question in person. But we'll start here. Uh, how is your sales split between academia and industry? Um, for the feasibility studies, of course, it's only industry. Uh, Benchtop instrument sales, it's a combination of industry and academia. And that goes a little bit from, from season to season, if it's more industry or more academia. What is your main channel to the market? Pardon? Your main channel to, to reach the market? Main challenge uh, to reach the market, we go to a lot of uh, directed conferences and events where we meet, oh, now I think I'm losing my, <laughs> my headphone here, where we meet both investors uh, in the medtech industry, but also where we meet academic research. So we have a lot of conference activities. Apart from that, we go to smaller meetings um, where we reach out and we try to reach out to, to people that are working in the space. And then I have to say that our, one of our founders, Professor Thomas Larell, is a very active lecturer and he is uh, contributing to, to spreading the word about Accusort that is, is really, really important. So you basically, you go out and you meet people and... Yes, yeah. th that's the main, main source where we meet our customers is by going out and meeting them at conferences and then, then we intera uh, start interactions there. And uh, we have a question here about the first feasibility project in cell therapy. When do you think Ecosor can kick off your first feasibility project in cell therapy? Uh, we've had already um, a feasibility project ongoing since last year in the cell therapy space. So we had three different studies with, with this partner and the, the last or the finalization of it is, is the delivery of the, the prototype device now. So. Uh, I hope that we will be able to share a continuation on that project um, within the coming months. This person has also asked how far you, away you are from commercial launch, but I suppose that might be a bit difficult to answer. <laughs> that is very difficult to answer for us since we are not planning to be the ones that are launching the device. So we usually work with our partners until they go into sort of a clinical evaluation or clinical trial phase. After that, then our component is integrated into their systems, and it's to, to some extent out of our control to, to plan the launch process for, our, uh, for, for the products that are including our components. We have a question about competition, and it's um, if there is any competition outside filtration and centrifuge. For the blood diagnostics, there is not really any competition outside of the centrifugation and filtration. Um, I have been working even before AccuSort with, with trying to find new ways of preparing blood samples in a better way and this was what I found and that was why I was so excited by joining AccuSort a few years back and why I'm still so excited in being here. And I think as a final question then, if we could look ahead a bit, what can we expect from AccuSort in 2024, just to summarize? Um, for 2024, I think we have a lot of uh, exciting ongoing um, discussions about feasibility studies, both within the cell therapy space, but also within the sort of, uh, what do you call it, uh, research uh, diagnostic or, or research instrumentation field when it comes to flow cytometry. Um, and of course, I mean, with the 510K approval, we, we are looking forward to, to hearing more news from, from our partner in the US about that. Right. Thank you so much, Agnes. Thank you. Thank you.